may have noticed a bunch of students in the breezeway during classes. We asked Mr. Lindsay and his ninth grade students why they're digging up the breezeway. How long have you been doing this activity? This actually is the second year we've done the mock dig. Uh, Ms. Roberts and myself uh, kind of brainstormed with Mr. Shell over a few years and, and uh, finally found the time last summer to put uh, this, this project together and this, this marks the second year. So um, hopefully we move up and forward and, and build each year to make it a little bit better. What are some of the interesting things you've buried? Well, we have kind of different layers or different strata, which the students are going to work their way through. And the idea is being that, of course, the more recent or contemporary artifacts, things they might see on the breezeway like trash, would be towards the surface as they go down. And we've had, uh, had artifacts which we think um, are representative of the societies um, in different eras uh, in, the, in the units we're going to study. So, Like yesterday, I found a clock. So. You found a clock? Yeah, it was like a big clock, like an analog clock, and it was broken. So. It, it, we want it not to be a treasure hunt. Uh, that was one of the big things, is that they really pick up the methodology of archaeology. We're doing an archaeology dig for history class, and we're learning about how archaeologists like learned about the past and how we can understand what was going on before we were alive. We want them to recognize that part of this, this science of archaeology is really to it's incumbent upon them to let that information become public so others can then digest it, um, especially with the Internet. That's something that um, has really changed in the last two and a half decades in, in the field.